Hi guys, today we'll do the review of the Olive's Dazzling Quartz watch which I bought it in a green color and a sort of a diver configuration. So I had this strap that you see, I have put this strap myself, this is not the standard strap that you get with the watch. We'll mostly just be focusing on the dial. Now this is the type of box that you'll get and you'll be able to see that it says 3950 here but this is actually not the you can get it for a lower price and but I feel like the price is worth it you get a customer care feedback and rating you get a user manual you get a this instrument you use for delinking of strap links and then adjusting the strap length and then you get a plastic quality certificate this is not paper this is plastic and here it says quality certificate olive watch inspector 15 so when i got the watch it was wrapped up completely in plastic it had a really nice packaging so i did not have any complaints in that regards so now let us come back to the watch so as you can see this is the Olev's watch and this strap that you see with it this is the strap that I have put myself so I'll just remove it this is not the strap that you get on the watch so this is the back of the watch stainless steel 3 atm water resistant number is written and then it says quartz movement with the Olev's logo now you can see the crown is here and the crown is nice and tight it is not flimsy and it does not have a lot of give in it looking at the dial itself this is a very pretty and very beautiful dial in bright sunlight and it reasonably well lit environment it performs really well and it looks really nice it has a very pleasing sort of luxurious color pattern to it now let us talk about what I feel now I'll just show you that if you can listen to the sound of this uh, dial it has really reassuring and very solid clicks in it and it does not have a lot of give if you see if I hold the watch very properly this is the amount of give that you'll have it, will, it goes back but once you move it move your fingers it comes back to position so as you can hear really nice sound and really tight it will not move on itself now one thing to note this piece that you see here i'll just try to focus the camera this piece is actually protruding a little bit it is in fact a inlay of some sort and it is protruding and it has been adhered here and these marks that you see these are not engraved these have been sort of printed or etched onto it there is a sort of golden finish a fake gold kind of uh, finish but it doesn't look bad in my opinion if this is under artificial lighting but if you can see it has a really nice sunburst kind of effect wherein these two sides have a little uh, brighter texture and then the upper sides have a little darker texture and it moves once you adjust it towards the light it will react accordingly now it has the olives symbol in it and it says uh, here dazzling quartz watch um, not a big fan of that I hope that it wouldn't be there but it is unfortunately then it has a, a magnifying date icon in it and reasonably well clear and there's no issue in reading it as such uh, when you open the crown one stop it uh, changes the date and another stop changes the time and if you can see unlike some of the Timex watches the second hand moves 
exactly on the numbers that have been put there it is not a little left and right it is exactly on the numbers this white sort of color that they have put for marking the hours and on the hours and minute hands it's very nice it's very clean and i really like the look of it now i'll show you the loom of this watch too so just give me a second so i have got a flashlight here now what i'll do is i'll turn off this light and the camera will go blind for a moment and i will show you the loom now as you can see i have not even touched my flashlight yet but it is such a bright and nice loom and this this dot that you see right above my finger this is the inlay that i was telling you about now let me put some light on it as you can see it, the loom really just screams out i haven't tested how long the loom stays for but i really like how it looks and it stays for 3 to 4 minutes at least in my general observation i have haven't really had a look at it that long but you can see how nice the loom looks and the loom is also on the second hand over there so you have loom on both the hour and the minute hand and the second hand and then you have loom on all the uh, hours but you don't have any loom on the uh, date display that is there so really like um, how the watch is and i would definitely recommend if you are going to buy it this would be a good purchase now i checked on the olives website they say that this glass is a mineral glass hardened mineral glass is the word that they use and uh, so i hope that it doesn't scratch out now it's too early in my testing to comment on that it is not a spherical glass if you can see it is simply a flat glass however the date magnifying part has it protrudes a little bit as you can see here maybe from this angle it will be better as you can see the date magnifying part protrudes a little and there is an olive symbol on the crown overall it looks really good on the hand i would recommend getting uh, a custom strap preferably leather or some sort of a milanese steel loop strap like this this is my personal preference because i find that it is really easy to adjust and the reason why i say that uh, i would prefer a custom strap on this uh, 